दिस होली मास इज स्पॉन्सर्ड सीकिंग गॉड्स मर्सी क्या एंड हेलिंग पावर ऑन सुमना पेरिस एंड वसंत रानुगे ग्रेशस फादर वी कन्फेस आर नीड फॉर यू टूडे वी नीड योर हेलिंग एंड योर ग्रेस अपॉन सुमना एंड वसंत वी नीड होप रेस्टोर्ड वी नीड टू बी रिमाइंडर दैट यू वर्क ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ दोस यू लव कॉन्स्टेंटली एंड पावरफुली इन जीसस नेम आमेन Sing to the mountain sing to the sea raise your voice as lift your heart this is the day the lord has made let all the earth rejoice i will give thanks to you my lord you have answered my plea you have saved my soul from death you are my strength and my soul sing to the mountain sing to the sea raise your voice as lift your heart this is the day that lord has made let all the earth rejoice In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today being the fourth Sunday in Easter time, the word of God invites us to have Jesus as the good shepherd in our life and the word of god invites us also to be the good shepherds to each others in our families and in our communities now to prepare ourselves to become worthy participants of this sacred mysteries let us call to mind our sins and humbly ask for god's mercy and forgiveness I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore I ask blessed Mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy glory to god in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king o god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us You take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the father amen let us pray almighty ever living god lead us to share in the joys of heaven 
so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed the multitude. Let all the house of Israel therefore know assuredly that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children and to all that are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other words and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from his crooked generation. So those who received his word were baptized, and there were added that day about 3,000 souls. This is the word of the God. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path, he is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes, my head, you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Surely, goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. You have returned to the shepherd of your souls. 
what credit is it if when you do wrong and are beaten for it, you take it patiently? But if when you do right and suffer for it, you take it patiently? You have God's approval. For to this, you have been called because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he trusted to him who judged justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were strain like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. Good Shepherd, says the Lord, I know my own, and my own know me. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice. And he calls his own sheep by the name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not heed them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
my dear brothers and sisters today is the fourth sunday of easter and this sunday is known as the good shepherd sunday today's gospel passage from john presents us jesus as the good shepherd the good shepherd is a very powerful biblical image for us to think reflect and learn many lessons we heard in the responsorial psalm a beautiful psalm that we know even by heart it says the lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose and there we are told when we have jesus in our lives as the shepherd even he will he will not allow us to have a drooping spirit rather than he will give us the strength and courage to face any situations in our lives so we are invited today in the word of god to reflect how we can have jesus as the good shepherd in our life let us see the characteristics of the good shepherd the good shepherd truly loves the sheep he nourishes them consoles them and leads them to grassy pastures he protects them from all harm and danger the good shepherd has a close relationship with the sheep he knows them well and he calls them each by its name in turn the sheep know and recognize the good shepherd's voice and they follow him wherever he leads the sheep do not follow the voices of the strangers this bond between the shepherd and the sheep is proposed to us as a model for our relationship with jesus and with each other my dear brothers and sisters in our daily life do we choose jesus as our good shepherd that is as the leader of our life have we been able to make a close connection with jesus like that of the relationship that the good shepherd has with the sheep how much do we listen to jesus's voice his word his teachings and his good news do we make use of jesus's teachings to guide and lead our lives and the lives of others the shepherd and sheep relationship is one of love friendship trust and caring first we must feel that we are loved by jesus and we also must feel that we love jesus we seek him and we want to be guided and led by him it is something that we should feel deep down within our lives within ourselves dear brothers and sisters very often we tend to forget this emotional affectional and spiritual dimension of our faith as a result we end up in doing only some external religious rituals which brings no qualitative change in our lives but if we experience jesus as our shepherd in life then we in turn become shepherds and leaders to others in our families and in our communities in the gospel passage we are told that the sheep listen to the shepherd's voice the sheep listens to listen to the shepherd's voice good shepherd's voice does not mislead the sheep because he loves them good shepherd's voice is trustful but in our society we hear voices of many so called shepherds and leaders and there are instances around the world and especially in our country where the sheep that is the people are misled and put into great dangers by the so called present day shepherds 
and leaders. The voices we hear from the political leaders, mainstream media, the TV, social media, and the like, impose on us many wants, desires, dreams, ideas, and ideologies. We need to distinguish between the voice of the Good Shepherd and the voices of the false shepherds. Good Shepherd's voice calls us to be loving, true, just, united, and peace-loving. But the voices of the false shepherds arouse and force us to be closed up, selfish, secretive, devious, hateful, divisive, manipulative, and then violent. Only if we are thoroughly familiar with the Good Shepherd's voice, then only we can distinguish the voice of the false shepherds and then not allow ourselves to be deceived or misled by their false voice. Let us pray today in a special way in this Mass that we renew our commitment to follow Jesus as our Good Shepherd and listen to his voice. Let us remind ourselves that we are called to be shepherds to each other in our families and in our communities. Let us not allow ourselves to be misguided by the voices of hate, division, injustice and violence. My dear friends, dear brothers and sisters, Today is also the day for the vocation to priesthood and religious life. Let us pray that we may hear the Good Shepherd's voice calling us to the mission of building up God's kingdom of love, justice and peace. Amen. Let us now together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now let us lift our hearts in prayer to our Heavenly Father to pray for ourselves, our families, our country and then the whole world. Heavenly Father, 
We pray for the church, the Holy Father, priests, and all those who exercise leadership, that they may guide with gentleness those entrusted to their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Abba Father, we pray for all that as sheep who belong to the Lord, that we may hear and heed his voice, and for vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious Father, we pray for those far away from their homeland, toiling and facing hardships, that they may experience the comforting presence of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we have, mer have mercy on all those who are participating and sponsored this Eucharistic celebration. Touch and heal all those who are sick, bedridden, and unable to receive you sacramentally today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We make all these prayers through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human, human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away all our iniquities and cleanse us from all our sins. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit, spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and serve you and serve each other in your love. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Malcolm Ranjit, our Bishop, all the bishops, the clergy, and the laity. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. now lift our hearts in trust and confidence to our Heavenly Father. We are told today in the Word of God that God is our Good Shepherd. So let us pray to Him as we pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And And with with your spirit. Let us now offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you you take take away away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, you are present and alive in the Most Holy Sacrament. At this moment, I am unable to receive you sacramentally. I desire you to come spiritually into my soul. O my Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Amen. Jesus is mine, oh what a fortress of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of God, God of His Spirit. In his blood. This is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my soul. is my soul, embracing my Savior all the day long. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord in each other. Thanks be to God. Though the mass is ended, children of the Lord, take his word to others. 
as you heard is spoken to you, go the mercies and go and tell the world. The Lord is good, the Lord is kind, and He loves everyone. We sincerely thank all the sponsors and their families who sponsored this Mass and pray that God will bless them abundantly. And to those who participated from their homes, may God bless you all. God bless you, Father. Go the mercies and take his love to all. Gladden all who meet you, fill their hearts with hope and courage. Go the mercies and fill the world with love, and give to all what you receive. The peace and joy of Christ. This Holy Mass was sponsored seeking God's mercy, care and healing power on Sumana Piris and Vasanta Randunuge. Gracious Father, we confess our need for you today. We need your healing and your grace upon Sumana and Vasanta. We need hope restored. We need to be reminded that you work on behalf of those you love, constantly and powerfully, in Jesus' name. Amen.